Howdy y'all, I'm Grams, and today I thought I would show off two of the most budget vehicles in the game. Now I looked up some budget vehicle tutorials and things like that for this video to make sure I was doing the right vehicles, and all of them were like under 500k, under a million, and that's just quite frankly too expensive. This car is free, this one is like $18,000. True budget vehicles for when you first spawn into the game. So I suppose I should tell you what these cars are. So this is the Elegy RH8, which is a car that's completely free as long as you have a social club account, which you should have. And then this is the Batty 801. There's also the Batty 801RR. They cost the same. It's just one of them has a livery, one doesn't. This is an insanely fast bike. Also, if you guys find the information in this video useful, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's go ahead and head down to the airport and I will show you the straight line performance. That's the correct wordage. Okay, stopwatch up. As usual, we will get the handbrake start. We will not do a wheelie, and let's go. Uh, I will tuck, just because I don't have the hands to like hold a stopwatch and um, wheelie and not go flying off the road. Uh, first person, this is I'm stretching all my hands just so that way you guys can see how fast we're going. I need to turn a bit. We're going off the runway. So, once we hit this, 26 seconds, nailed it, or er, 25.93, we'll just say 26 seconds. So, I mean, that's not very fast, especially compared to something like the Toreador, which was 16 seconds last time we tested it, but of course that car was maxed out with all the performance upgrades. So, why don't we go and do that? There's a Benny's Custom Motors Works over here, so we'll go and test this one out, and then we'll do the same for the Elegy. Okay, repair it right quick since I did hit some on the way over here. Well, it's max upgrade. I'm going to sell it after this, so whatever. Okay, I believe we have everything maxed out on, on the Batty 801 now. So let's head back to the airport. I will show you guys just a little bit of driving with it. Just so that way you can at least get the feel for it. This thing is much louder now. I think the acceleration is a bit better. The top speed is probably going to be better. If you do a wheelie, you, you'll really get going. I mean, look at the speed on this. This is, this is pretty nice. Where's the airport? The airport is that way so go ahead and line it up in about the same spot we're not perfect here I'm not I'm not perfect power start tuck straighten her out a bit since I was a bit cockeyed uh, uh, once again first person view you guys can compare top speed sorry you're not going very straight it's really hard to straighten something out when you're not when you're in like a keyboard I English is hard okay I'm trying not to lose too much speed but fully maxed out, 23 seconds instead of 26. We survived. This lady is really trying to ruin my video. Okay, let me get the RH8. So, here we have the RH8. Let's head over to the airport. Okay, let me go ahead and get up my stopwatch. Get the handbrake start. I'm not very straight, but whatever. And there we go. Just remember, I'm not like a perfect person. My timing may be a bit off. Slowly making our way down the town. You can see the speedometer. I'm going to commentate over this from here on out so you can actually see the speedometer. So that way you can get a feel for how fast the car goes before and after modifications. So once we hit the grass, stop it. 26 seconds, same as the baddie. Let me go ahead, clear the stopwatch, and let's go back to LS Customs. So once again, you guys can get a feel just as I'm driving back to the airport. How it controls, all that kind of thing. It sounds different, that turbo. I, I think it controls a little better, maybe not a lot better, but but a little. Is that the airport? No. Okay, let me go into first person, get the handbrake start. I don't know why like my whatever light that is is on, and go. So you guys can see the acceleration is considerably better now with the better transmission and all that. I don't know how much better the top speed will be since the top speed isn't super great on this car. But once again, this car will definitely make you slightly competitive in races as a beginning player, although the upgrades are very expensive. So once this car is upgraded, you can expect 23, ow, 2387 was our time, rounded up, that's 24 seconds, so it's a bit slower than the bike, I'll say that. But this is a car, you know, two doors, you can fit multiple people in here, plus you have the advan advantages of a car you won't go flying off if you hit something. Now, both of those, compared to the Toreador, are much slower. 
the the bike being 23 seconds and this being 24 seconds the Toreador on the same test was 16 seconds so by spending a few more million dollars you can get a much faster car so I think that just about concludes the video for today if you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe we're trying to hit 150 subs by the end of March also if you guys would like to see a video on the two best armored cars under a million dollars be sure to comment that down below leave a like I'd love to make that video if you guys want to see that any other video ideas, you can show them off to me, tell them if I like them, I'll do them. Video ideas are nice, and I will see you all for the next video. Bye!